Good morning, everybody. It is Natty B back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up? We are gonna do a little vlog, a little vloggy vlog today. Um, it is Tuesday, it is November 10th. Uh, we just have a lot of little random things to do today, including fulfilling or putting all of our products on Shopify. Sorry, I don't know. Oh, that's why it's so bright. Including putting all of our products on Shopify. I have my little notepad of what's going on today. So, I just woke up, I made my bed, I made some Echinacea tea. It's supposed to be good for immune support with lemon. Um, it's just really cold. It's 63 degrees in our home and 55 degrees outside um, because during the winter we turn the air off because we like the cold and we never usually get it. So I am going to return this newly box that I got, which if you haven't seen my Instagram, check it out here. But it is a subscription box where you get to pick out your favorite items that you want to try on and possibly keep. So I caught like two for love and lemons dresses, a free people dress, a steel dress, something from Love Shack Fantasy. Did I say that right? And another top from Free People. So I'm going to need to return that. I'm also filming what I eat in a week which will be coming out next week, but I wanted to vlog today also. I have a meeting at a PR company. So Keaton and I are hoping to put Twin Flames in this PR company so they can kind of distribute it to other people. Then I have to film a reel. I am going to do some admin work and email some brands. I want to look into investing in this one stock and I want to do my research on it before I do it. So I'm also going to look into that and also ask my little brother for help because he's a genius when it comes to stocks. That's all he does is read about stocks. And then I have to film something else and that's about it for the day. Nothing too crazy, nothing not too crazy, you know, the vibes. Okay, I finished doing all of the stuff that I needed to do for my morning. Checking a few things off my to-do list, which is amazing. And now I'm going to get ready for my meeting. It is in an hour and a half, but I get anxiety about being late to places and not having enough time. So we're gonna start getting ready now and then I'll eat after because like I said, my anxiety is scaring me. So I'm gonna just use this base. Um, I am using the Super Goop, Super Goop Glow Screen in SPF 40. It just adds like a nice base so I don't really need to use like foundation. I'll still go over with concealer but it makes it like a lot easier for me so I don't have to do a full routine and feel like I am just like caked on for the day if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of concealer for my nice big eye bags. Um, we'll do a little of my under nose like usual and then just a little bit on my chin. And now when I don't do a full makeup routine thingy. I just go in with the brush because it's faster and easier. Oh, I have it now. That's cool. I have a meeting for Twin Flames for this PR agency, and I always get feel weird when I wear my own items to like meetings. I don't know why. That like should never be the case, but even if we're just going to like go see the screen printer and it's something that they've done, I always feel weird that I wear it, which makes truly no sense. So I'm like, I kind of want to wear this hoodie, but like I said, is it weird for me to? I'm gonna throw on jeans. I'll probably put like a crop on and then I'll wear this. Just to like have them out that I mean business. Now, I need to blend that in, that's for sure. 
I need to also make my neck look. It's like always so white right here. Are you okay? Right there, because that's where like the sun doesn't get it. I have been obsessed with Babe Lash recently and I use their like lash lengthening serum, their conditioner, I use their brow filler gel like right now and I also use their mascara. Like I'm literally obsessed with all of their products and I really think that you guys would like them too. I don't really do much to my brows, I just kind of brush them. Here is the mascara. It is just the Babe Lash Enriching Mascara. But look at this, like, yeah, okay, yeah, sorry, I'm pulling that movie, move. It's like tilted, does that make sense? It's like a curved brush, but it is so good, I'm obsessed with it. Let me add a little bit of eyeshadow, a light one. James Travels. Let's do some greens, actually. Um, okay, here's a big brush. Let's go in with like literally the lightest color and make that my base. All over my eyeball. In that side. Now let's go in with this brown, so just a little bit darker and kind of go in the crease, but also messily add it to the lid. So it's a darker lid look. I'm trying to turn my face so you can see more of the coloring, you know what I mean? I've been using this combo for a while. I just really love these light colors, especially during the day. It looks just so good. Messily on the lid, and now we'll take this brown, it's like so much darker, so I'm barely gonna use it in that crease. And it's really dark. But we'll blend, blend, blend. Should I add foundation? I might, in a little. Me getting self-conscious. Mm. I like love doing a full face of makeup it just makes me feel so much better and I do not know how to do a natural look like it just does not come to me easily at all I don't know how to do it I don't know how people look good when they do a natural makeup look I'm jealous I wish I could I wish I could just throw on like a glossier lip tint Okay, I added a little bit of foundation just because my skin tone is just so uneven and it just does not look that good. And now I'm gonna add my lips. I'm going to use my lightest lip liner, which is Honeymoon. And just line them. It's still such a dark liner. I need to get a lighter one. But I go over with this Stila liquid lip and it's like so nude, so it like hides it a little bit. Let's see how my hair looks. It's a little big. I'm gonna wear a hair clip, half up, half down vibe. Looks super cute, super trendy. And I'm gonna wear jeans and my Nike blazers and a crop and this hoodie. I need to go eat now. We are wearing jeans, Converse high tops, the TF shirt, a clip, and a mask. And I think the mask is gonna make me feel a lot better about myself. I just wore it around the house for five minutes and I felt way more confident. And so that's what I'm gonna bank on. And the clip. I just straightened my hair too and it still didn't look that good. It's just really um, not my best day, and that's okay, because we all have not best days. I am starving. Brooke is making banana protein muffins, and I'm gonna have one of those, and then I'm gonna leave and never come back. It's 1.30, I have a meeting at two, and it's 10 minutes away, 
So I'm gonna leave in 15 minutes, so I'm early. And then I'm also starving. And so Brooke made these, can you say it? Banana protein. Banana protein muffins. They have chocolate, they have chocolate chips, chips in them. They're basically banana bread, healthy as banana bread muffins that like have an ass ton of protein in them. And I love protein, so I'll probably eat three of these. I am butter queen, so I'm putting this on quite literally as a vessel for the butter. Okay, I'm gonna eat two more of those and then leave and then when I get back I'm gonna eat a way bigger lunch than this because I'm starving. Okay, we are on our way to the place that we are going. That's how life works. We're on the place that we're on the way to the place that we're going, you know? Um, I love it whenever I get to drive somewhere. I feel like I never use my car, so, sorry. So it's really exciting whenever I do get to drive my car. It's just like a fun little burst of adrenaline running through me, you know? Thank goodness this place is close. Um, I don't know why I'm having like weird anxiety this week. I haven't had anxiety in a while and it's been happening a lot when I go to bed and just do random things that I don't normally do. So I'm just trying to breathe deeply. Um, remember that nothing matters. Nothing matters, okay? Except for that, that everything matters. Just kidding. My motto was, when I was a college athlete, nothing matters, and I would say it all the time, and one of my coaches would literally be like, stop saying that. Everything matters. Everything you do matters. And I'm like, no, actually it doesn't. Nothing matters. And he actually got so mad every time I would say it. But I, that's kind of like my motto, nothing matters. So why worry about anything? So I keep reminding myself that right now. And yeah, so I will be at the place in like two minutes. Keaton actually is on a flight. So we were gonna FaceTime her and have her see the place, but I don't know if she'll land in time. Hopefully she does. She has texting on the flight though, so that's good. And I'll send her like updates, but I have our pieces. Well, I have, I don't have the crew neck because it was a little dirty, so I'm not bringing that one. I need to use the navigation on my phone, so I have to hang up on you guys. Goodbye, I love you, I'll see you after. I'm back. Um, okay, so the meeting went great. My anxiety's gone. I absolutely love them. It's gonna be the best thing ever. Also, look at these glasses they gave me. Like, did you say twin flames or did you say flames? Like, get out of my face. These are the coolest things I've ever seen. Don't talk to me. I'm, I'm too busy being hot. Like, I'm obsessed. They're sick. So, these are one of the fun gifts that they gave me that I'm so excited about. It's from Reality Eyeglass Wear. So yeah, and now I think I'm gonna film a TikTok about my outfit. I've always been do the 30 day of outfits thingamabobber, you know? Um, but I never get ready enough, so I might film like three of them. Don't tell anybody, it's our little secret. And just start now with that. So I'm gonna try and be like a edgy girly swirly and film that. Should I include these? Don't. Don't even, don't come near me, bro. Don't, don't come near me. These glasses make me feel powerful. I can't, I really can't. Okay, I'm gonna try to film it. Let's see how this goes. I don't wanna take the trash out yet, so we're just gonna move it. And act like it's not there. There's my backdrop. Okay, let's get the shoes. Or maybe let's get the jeans. How do I do this? Like, 
just zip up my pants. Let me put on a bra. Okay, cool. I'm gonna walk in and button my pants. Or maybe I'll just button them like this. Okay, scene. Now let's do, like what do we do now? Okay, let's get the shoes, I guess. Okay, let's try just tying it. Okay, we got this, we got all the B-roll. Now let's do me putting the shirt over my head. Or like pulling it down, I guess. So we'll go like that. Oh, there, it's still recording. Now let's get just the hair clip. Now let's put on the earrings. That looks so stupid. How the fork do people do this? My face looks so crusty. And now the sunglasses. Okay, and now just me standing there being cute or whatever. Okay, I think I did it. Okay, I'm having a smoothie now, and I Brooke did all of the cooking today, so I am going to, she also cleaned most of the kitchen, I'm not gonna take credit for all the cleaning, but I will put everything away and clean what else needs to be cleaned, and then I think I'm gonna edit a video. We are gonna start cooking now, but obviously I'm making a what I eat in a week video, so I just wanted to let you guys know that that is happening, and that's what we're doing right now but i will come back to what's back to regularly scheduled programming after we cook we just finished making dinner and now we have this salad i will be obviously posting everything <clears throat> regarding the recipe in the what i eat in a week video but it is Quite literally the best fall salad you will ever eat. We had it two weeks ago, or did we have it before we went home? I think we had it before we went home. Um, so like yeah, three right. weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But it's insane. It's the best salad ever. Had. It's literally the best salad I've ever had. Clearly, I just so shout out to Brock your body. Shout out Brock your body. I want to Brock my body. Wait, look at wait, look at this. When are you going to let me, us, <laughs> decorate for Christmas? I knew you were going to ask me that soon. I thought you were going to ask me when I put the Halloween stuff away the other day. <laughs> I would love to wait until after Thanksgiving. Can I say my piece? Yeah. Not my piece. I don't get back till the third. And then we're only here for two weeks. When would you want to decorate for Christmas? Next week. What day? We go the week. We go home the week That's after. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can decorate next week. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but I don't want to get a tree because we won't be That's able to That's fine. Yeah. But that more nails in the wall. Well, they're already there. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot to me. Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> 
Yeah. Everyone likes Tasha so much more than Claire. You know how they said it's like a different vibe? I mean, like, oh, this means I mean, more geez, to me. I'm more I'm a weird one. Claire, like, oh, my God, like, who is Claire is bad at being the best. Personally, yeah, yeah, they're terrible. Well, Are there going to be 15 more? I really think that that was the only group of guys you were going to meet tonight? <laughs> oh, my God. She's like a full batch of guys. Thank God, dude. I have chills. <laughs> Spencer is literally my dream boy. He is hot. He is hot, Taisha. He lives in the Hoyas. <laughs> he lives in the Hoyas. Hope you guys are ready for a few more. What's up, Spencer? It's me, Chesney. They are like F that you, bro. Exactly. They're like, damn, they picked younger guys. So which one of you guys scared away Claire? It's so nice to meet I've you. I've never heard it like that. Well, I'm on that. It's nice to meet you. I'm really excited to get to spend time with you. It's so good. Alright. That's amazing. It's definitely an interesting dynamic given how you all know each other and we're just like four dudes showing up. Can people interact with him? He obviously feels uncomfortable. Is that it? There's only four? Uh oh. Oh, there she is. Uh, maybe a bit too many. We finished watching The Bachelorette. Actually, we didn't because our TV cut out and it's not buffering. Because we use Roku, so we stream it through Spectrum. I don't really know how it works, but long story short, it like literally stopped working. And we tried reconnecting it for 10 minutes and then we gave up and watched the end of Hangover Part 3. And now it's 10. And I'm gonna do a few more things before bed. I'll take you through that, but I need to get all this stuff off my face. So, whenever I have makeup on, I use this Drunk Elephant mel Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. I'm obsessed with it. It takes literally all my makeup off, my mascara, my makeup. <laughs> that needs to not, oh wait, I need my soap. It's like so jelly. That's the one thing I don't like about it. So whenever I like use this, I feel greasy, I guess. Um, until I use the cleanser to get that feeling off and like get the, and have the soap penetrate it and get rid of it completely. But I love this, especially for my mascara because I never like would take off my eye makeup because I just didn't really know how to and the wipes like the Neutrogena wipes never worked that well so I always had makeup left over on my eyeballs and like mascara but this is really good at getting more of it off than anything Like, see, there is no more mascara in my eyes. So now let's get this guy all put away. I am also still using Curology. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. This is the cleanser. Once my face finishes drying, I use the medicine that they gave me. This one is 4% niacinamide, 1% clinomycin, and 8% azelaic acid. Um, and then I will go over with the moisturizer and then the overnight cream from Skin Better. So that's my nightly setup. I'm going to brush my teeth. I've had to switch to Sensodyne, which I don't know. I don't really like, like as much. I would rather use the Crest toothpaste, but I was having issues with like my back teeth being really sensitive. Like they just hurt all the time. So... Now I use I hate that I have to bend down for this, but I'm going to use this, and then this, and then this, and then we'll go back into my room. Like I said, it's 10.20 now. Um, I have a few things on my list for today that I didn't get done. I said to do a mini workout. I might do a little one before I go to bed, like literally an ab series. I just have not been motivated at all. I cannot bring myself to work out at all. I was so 
avidly working out during quarantine. Like I never have felt better. I felt so in shape. I wanted to work out all the time. I was just loving it. And now I'm just, I have no motivation to do anything, which makes me really upset. And I know I need to just push through it and get through it and I'll get back into that grind, but I did not do a workout today. So I'm gonna have to either do an X or do a little mini series before I go to bed. Um, this thing has to get moved to tomorrow. I am going to email a few brands right now. And then before I go to bed, recently, I've been putting my phone away. Like before I get in bed, I set it down so I don't look at it, so I don't get too distracted. And I've been reading and I've read so many books these past three, two, three months now. And I just love reading. And right now I'm honestly on like a book that I don't love as much. It's not a book. It's not a pleasure book. It's like a business book. But my little brother told me to read this. If you guys can't tell, I literally, my brother is like a little kid genius. He's not a little kid. He's in college, he's a freshman in college, but he knows more about the stock market and businesses than I will ever know in my life. Just kidding, I'm reading the books now. But he told me to start with this one. It's called The Richest Man in Babylon, and it is the original edition. It's only like 91 pages, but they talk like they're in prehistoric times. Let me read you a sentence. Like, here's just a random example. I've only been looking for 30 seconds, so I'm not looking for the craziest one. If I did have two shekels, Bansir responded gloomily, to no one could I lend them, not even to you, my best of friends, for they would be my fortune, my entire fortune. No one lends his entire fortune, not even to his best friend. It sounds like the Bible. Like, it's just the wording is hard for me to read, and I'm getting through it so slowly. Because I'll be reading these words that obviously aren't hard words, but it's not writing that I'm used to anymore. This is writing that I'd recognize when I would read the Bible in like middle school. I haven't read the Bible in a while. I'm sorry. Um, I probably should, but I have not. And therefore, I don't really, I'm not good at reading this. So it's taken me a while, but I'm almost done. I have like 10 pages left, which will probably take me four hours. Um, but once I'm done with this, I have a new book. What everybody is saying. I'm gonna either do that one or The Defining Decade. What everybody is saying is about body language and I'm really excited. My little brother has been like every time I'm around him and I do something, he's like, you're lying. And I'm like, no, I'm not. He's like, I can read your body language. I, I, I don't lie to him, but that was an example of something. Like he just can tell when something's off now. So I'm really excited to be able to read that and see how people, like how they act, like with their body and not with their words. I'm really excited. Um, and then the defining decade is about your 20s. I kind of don't want to read that because I'm like, I don't want them to tell me I'm living my life wrong. But I don't think I'm gonna let it sway me either way. Like, unless it's obviously so inspirational. But I mean, like, if I'm like, I don't need that, I'm not gonna succumb to the book. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm reading, you know? So, I'm going to finish my admin work and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'll probably get in bed around 11.15 and then read for 30 minutes. Hopefully I finish my book. But that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I loved being able to take you along on my day. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoy these vlogs. If there's anything else that you want to see. But I love you all. And I appreciate all of you. You have no idea how much. Okay. I'll see you on my next video.